Restarted the career of Marco Royce, made him 18 again, but this time he hopes to win the Champions League. With Dortmund, the club he loves, but he's had a meeting with the board of directors and asked them if they can put him on the transfer list. All agreements have been done and Bremen have come calling for 11 million and he's moving to a bigger club. He's making his debut for word of Bremen. Hopefully he gets a goal or two and impress Dortmund. And here's a chance. Dush, great control. Is he gonna shoot against oh or passes across a penalty? Surely, yes. He's being brought down, Mark Royce. And Bayern has not had a good start, especially Mazrawi. Second foul here. Mark Royce against Neuer scores into the top right of the goalkeeper. And that's his day goal on his debut. Big debut here. Here's a chance for Jung. And Mazrawi not in his position. And that is 2-0 to Werder Bremen. A start, a dream start for Mark Royce. Do scoring this time. Here's a chance for Harry Kane. No, we can't let him go through. He's always going to score. He's always going to score this guy. Here's a chance for Musiala. Sidesteps. No, penalty. And Werder Bremen may have bottled the lead. A penalty it is. And Harry Kane is stepping up to take it. He doesn't miss penalties, but he's missed it now. And Harry Kane's missed the pen. He managed to take three points out of Bayern Munich. Dortmund comes calling. The team he wants to go to, Marco Royce. Marcel Sabit says he as well. Here's Keita. He has to pass. No, he's gone for it. He's absolutely gone for it. And he scores for Werder, Werder Bremen. Great start to the season. Is Reina. And no, Fulkberg, oh, he has to be defended. No one marking him. Poor defending by Werder Bremen at the back. Here's a chance. Weezer, he has to cross it in. Oh, yes. It's not Royce, but a goal for Werder Bremen means three points are coming to Bremen again. Great game. And halfway point of the season. After 16 games, we are currently six in Europa League spots. Freiburg. A team we want to beat here today. Dwan to take the corner. Corner comes in. We have to clear it. Oh, poor keeping. Oh, no. Poor defending. I was supposed to say. 94th minute winner from Freiburg. And that is three points dropped in race for European football for next season. But Hoffenheim, a team we want to beat. Burgos is up front. It would be easier now, wouldn't it? Is Rap. Passes on. Oh, Royce saw his goal for it. That's an absolutely brilliant goal from Marco Royce. He can shoot outside of the box and he just proved it. Here's a chance for Dish and that is 2-0. Easy as you like. 22 minutes on the clock and the game is taken away from Hoffenheim. And end of the season, guys, we managed to get into European football and his conference league, I guess, because of the colour on the label. And we finished six. Pokal Trophy going to Bayern Munich, beating Wolfsburg in the final. And the playoff fight was between Darmstadt, who won it. Bayern winning the Champions League, beating City. Villarreal beating Liverpool in Europa League final. While Conference League goes to Club Bruges. 10-11 on penalty shootout. It would have been intense. And Royce has not had the best of season. Six goals and two assists only. And we have to really help him in season number two. Hence, we're going for two players who are definitely going to get him over the line. Big debut here for Mohamed Dahoud from Brighton against Darmstadt. His mother. No! Oh, what a finish. Absolutely brilliant. I underestimated the power of Dramstad and look at that, great start, 1-0 down already in the first 15 minutes, here's Keita, he has to shoot and he does, yes, equaliser straight away, 10 minutes after conceding, chance for Royce, he's gone past one, oh brilliant, late goal, oh no it's not late, it's only 35 minutes, I thought late in the first half, Mark Royce, Gives Werder Bremen the lead after losing 1-0. And he made it to Europa League, by the way, against Malmo, Juve and FK against and Schalke race in January. Tough times for Bremen. They have to make it this season. Cross comes in. Keita, penalty. I can see it from here. Seen it from my camera. And that is a penalty for Werder Bremen in the first 11 minutes. Royce to take it. Has to score it. And he does. That's 1-0. Great start to the game 
from Werder Bremen and Marco Roy scoring yet another goal for Werder Bremen and end of the season guys halfway point of the season beg your pardon 16 games in we currently struggling in 12th position and oh we didn't make it past the group stages in the Europa League hence we are in the conference league against Pogon I think they're the team from Czech Republic but anyways guys back to the Bundesliga and we're, we are playing Bayer Leverkusen in Bundesliga. Cross comes in from Florian Wurst. We have to clear it. No! What have you done? Oh, we've conceded. And who's this kid that scored? It is Wurst with the goal. I thought he took the free kick. But anyways, 1-0 to Bayer Leverkusen in a defeat. We made it to the semi-final of the Pokal against Freiburg. We surely have to make it to the final now. But lost to Spurs on aggregate 4-3. After leading 2-0 in the first leg, poor performance in the second leg. We made it to the Pokal final, guys. We have to win here in order to get into European football again for next season. Munchen Ladbach did us a favour by beating Bayern in the semis. Here's a chance. Diemann passes on to Royce. Great first touch and he just slots it past the goalkeeper. And in the second half, we are 1-0 up. Here's Dukes. Uh, number seven or side steps the defender Dumis. Oh, he has to score and that is 2-0 Surely one hand on the trophy now 20 minutes two plus 20 minutes remaining guys. We are surely winning the final here now, but here's a chance Hernandez and oh, Munchen Ladbach are ah, right back into the game with eight minutes remaining I really feel it's little too little too late Full time whistle, guys. We've made it past Munchen Ladbach. Won the final 2 1. Big final it was. We have to win, and we've done it. Massive trophy, a golden colour. We want to win it, and we have. And it's a big trophy. Beating Munchen Ladbach in the final. That's the first trophy for Marco Royce in his entire career. He needs to start improving and get more trophies. And by the way, guys, if you're liking the video so far, do subscribe to my channel. I see a lot of people watch my videos and not subscribe to my channel. That is bad. But end of the season, guys, we finished 12. Glad we won the Pokal trophy or else we would have missed out on European football for next season. And we finished 12th. And, of course, we won the Pokal, beating Munchen Ladbach 2-1 in the final. A massive stadium it was. And Bayern Munich beating Villarreal in the UEFA Super Cup 1-0 in the final. While Champions League going to City beating Milan in the final. Europa League going to another Italian side, Juventus beating FC Porto while Betis getting the better of the Spanish derby and him personally he's getting 17 goals and 6 assists in season number 2 and he wants to move on he's spoken to the manager and he has to put him on the transfer list and guess what who's from calling Borussia Mönchengladbach has come calling and he's going to be a transfer of the decade for Royce. 26 million on the dot and he's moved across Germany. He is 76 overall, 24 years of age. He has to really start getting into German national team. Big game, a debut for Marco Royce against Augsburg. He has to score. And he's lucky to get a penalty and he scores through the centre. And Munchen Ladbach are 1-0 up and Royce never missed a penalty in his entire career. 1-0 it is. Here's a chance for Marco Royce. Is he going to make it too? Oh, that's a double. A brace on his debut for Munchen Ladbach. Oh, what a goal this is turning out to be. What a day is turning out to be, I should say. And a hat-trick. Chance for a hat-trick and he scores past the goalkeeper. A massive debut for a man who's really having to show the world his quality. And we go to play Mainz. Munch and Ladbach are on course to get into the Champions League football. Here's a chance for Royce again from the spot through the centre of the goal. 1-0, two minutes into the game. What's a start to the game it is. Here's a chance. Vega. Oh, 2-0. Absolutely devastating. 
two goals in the first 20 minutes and Munchenlaba really taking it apart. Freiburg, sorry, Frankfurt it is against Munchenlaba and Marco Royce already scoring so many goals. Penalty to Frankfurt, a goal. Keeper should have done better there, I think. He should have done better there. But anyways, Mari got to the former World Cup winner, scores for Frankfurt. Here's a chance for Shaby. Cross comes in. Oh, I think that's an own goal. Oh, no. Is it TK who's celebrating an end of the season? Guys, we made it to the European uh, football for next season. Dortmund winning the Pokal. We were beaten by Dortmund in the quarterfinal. Champions League going to PSG. Leverkusen winning the Europa League against Rangers. While Conference League going to another Italian side, Fiorentina. And he's had the greatest season so far in his career with 26 goals and 9 assists. What a season. And season number two for Munchen Ladba. He is really demanding a pay rise. Mark Reus needs to start improving or else he won't get the pay rise. And look at the team, guys. He is right at the top of the pile. He needs to improve and get into the Champions League spot while we are helping him get the achievement. Araujo is the first signing we've got him in. And another player, I can't see who it is. And is Lazario? Yes, two players for Munchaladbach in season number two for Marco Reus. Hopefully, he can get to the title. And second season with Borussia Munchaladbach for Marco Reus. He is hoping to improve his goal tally and make sure they get into the Champions League again. Is not a cameo appearance in European football. Here's a corner, comes in quickly taken, and Royce, he scores yet again. Oh, in the 49th minute, four minutes into the second half, what a start to the second half of the game. We've had the shots hit the woodwork, and now a goal within two minutes. We managed to win three points of the season. We are in the Champions League guys against PSG, Real Sociedad and Lech Poznan. I do fancy my chances, but I do fancy my chances today. We have to beat Frankfurt, who we lost to last season. Here's a chance for Royce. Unmarked has to score. What a goal that is. Absolutely belter. The balls come all the way out of the net and sat on the centre circle. What a hit son. And halfway point of the season, we're three above Bayern Munich. We can't bottle it this season. Oh, we didn't make it past the group stages in the Champions League. And we are playing Bayern Munich at the Borussia Park. Big game, guys. A season-defining moment for either teams. The point is the difference at the moment. Can Bayern come here and win? Kane is here. Oh no, keepers come out all the way and we've conceded an early goal, not what we wanted. But Harry Kane's gonna score, of course, if you give him that time and space. 1 0 to Bayern Munich. Kane had two penalties in this game, missing the first one, of course, but he had to score the second one. And he did. 2-0 to Bayern Munich. They're going for three points. They're overtaking us in the league. And by the way, guys, we are not going to win the league now because Bayern Munich have won it. They've beaten us by massive 14 points. Oh, I thought we are going to take down Bayern Munich with four defeats out of the possible six in the last four games. He sends us to second, but Dortmund winning the Pokal Trophy over Hanover 96, a team I really want to build, rebuild in the future. Champions uh, Europa's UEFA Super Cup going to PSG, Bayern losing in the final of the Champions League. Europa League going to Inter Milan beating PSV, while Conference League going to Fiorentina beating the bottle jobs themselves. And personally, guys, this guy's had a great season, scoring 31 goals and 4 assists. But he wants to move to Dortmund, and he's finally done so. Two board of directors are meeting up to discuss the transfer of this fella, Marco Reus. He is going to wear number 9. 170 million market value for this German player. 
Oh, what a player he's going to turn out to be for Dortmund. Straight into the starting 11, 87 overall. And look at his stats, guys. It is immense debut time for Dortmund against Klaw. I hope they win big with this guy. And Royce, on his debut, gets the only goal of the game. Gets the three points for Dortmund. And a dream start for this young man. But we are in the Champions League with PSG, Milan and Newcastle United. And Dortmund then go on play where the Bremen, where it all started for Royce. Here's a chance for Steg. Oh, he passes it. No, no. And we've conceded in the early six minutes. Are Dortmund going to strike back? Royce. No, Sebastian Haller this time. Royce is not taking the penalty. By the way, he was sent off two minutes ago. And halfway point of the season, guys, we are currently third with seven points behind Bayern Munich. We topped the group in the Champions League, hence we're playing Real Madrid in the last 16, hoping we make it in the Champions League, of course. But the moment we're playing Bayern Munich, the big game in Bundesliga, Royce to score in the first 10 minutes. Oh, he beats Neuer yet again. Not Royce. Scores third penalty against Manny Neuer in his entire career. Immense here. His Kane. Keeper comes out. Oh, he's dinked it over him. Schlotterbeck. What have you done? Bayern Munich have equalised. Just at the stroke of half time. Lucky Kane. I'm not quite sure. But here's Royce to retake Dortmund ahead. And we have taken the lead. Marco Royce with his second goal of the day. Dortmund 2, Bayern Munich 1. Kane's penalty. Is he going to score? Yes, he does. And that is a 2-2 two -two draw. Two massive points dropped in the hands of Bayern Munich. To both of the teams are actually upset. End of the season, guys. Six points were the crucial difference between the two sides. And guess who's won the Leipzig won the Pokal Trophy. Champions League going to Real Madrid. Beating City in the final. And a season to be proud of for Marco Royce. 33 goals, 9 assists. Great season personally. And here we go guys. A clearance from Dortmund. We've also had a deal with Xavi from Barcelona. To sign this man. Ronald Araujo for 94 million. Also Grimaldo across Germany from Bayer Leverkusen. In order to help Dortmund lift a big trophy. And first game of the season, we could be losing. Heidi Oh, Cobell makes a save, and we've just earned a point. A oh, massive save towards the end of the game by Gregor Cobell. We are in the Champions League with Milan, Feyenoord, and Anderlecht from Belgium. Yeah! And halfway point of the season, we are well behind Bayern Munich yet again. Sancho was on hand to score a goal against Freiburg, giving us massive lead in this game. And then in the second half, Adyami setting on Fulberg to give us three points for sure. And we do make it in the final of the Pokal Trophy against Leipzig. We hope to beat them and make it to the final in months time. Sancho, oh, is he going to pass it or uh, cross it in? Sancho again is Ryson. He, he's got support. Brandt passes it back to Emre Chan. A uh, KG game in the first 16 minutes. Chan again. Passes on to Grimaldo. Mike Royce turns. Oh, well over the bar. Here's a chance for Penda. Oh, the last man to be chasing. Great save by Gregor Cobell. The game went on to penalty shootout. With the teams missing the first couple of penalties. It all went down to the last kick of the penalty shootout. Cream the dream. Adiyami scores. Scores. And we are through to the final for sure now. Massive victory this is turning out to be for us. And we are going to be the champions if we win the final. Of course in a month's time. Big game in the Champions League against Newcastle United at St James's Park. A, fine, a final on the line. 2-1 down from the first leg. Sancho wins it. Mark Royce turns his man. Has to score. Passes across. No. An own goal from Newcastle. And it's all 2-2. All level on aggregate. 
Here's a chance for Diami into the second half. Is he going to score? Yes, he is going to score in and off the post. Adiyami makes it 2-0 two, two on the night, 3-2 on aggregate. And of course, we are going to penalties. Isaac misses his first penalty. Adiyami to take it. Oh, he misses himself. Shah. Oh, he scores past Kobel. Sebastian Hilaire. Oh, in and off the post. Vela. Oh, he misses a penalty. Fulkberg scores. Advantage Dorman. Tonali scores. Panenkas through the middle. Royce has to score. Has to score. And yes, he scores. Newcastle Amiri. Oh, keeper should have done better there. And this is the chance for Chan to send us to the final. Yes, he's done it. We are going to the final. Emre Chan, the veteran. Oh, he scores. He scores the most, most important penalty of his career, sending us to the final. But first, we have another final to play, guys, in the DFB Pokal against Munchen Ladba, a team who we signed Marco Royce from. And now we start from Munchen Ladba. Here's Sebastian Haller passes across, and Adiami makes it 1 0 in the first 10 minutes, and Royce. Pass to Ad Sebastian Haller, who went on to score the second goal for Dortmund. And this is one hand on the DFB Pokal Trophy. We had the chance to make it 3-0 and Royce absolutely did so. Sending the penalty through the centre of the goal. And full time it is guys. We won the DFB Pokal Trophy for the second time in Marco Royce's career. Beating Munchen Ladbach, massive trophy, and Royce is helped. A channel actually gone on and helped Marco Royce this time, scoring the important penalty in the semi final. But guys, hold on to your champagnes as we go into the Champions League final. Oh, the last team I would want to win the Champions League final against is Arsenal. We are playing the Gunners, who's never won the Champions League themselves. Hoping that we can beat them and crown Marco Royce's career as a big W. After an KG game in the first 70 minutes, Adiyami is running through the hearts of the defense, and Sebastian Haller puts Dortmund in the league, the only goal of the game. And full time, guys, in the final, Sebastian Haller goal sends Marco Royce right in front of the Champions League trophy, and he's gone on to win it. He's won his Champions League, first ever Champions League in his career, losing one final, and of course, they play Real Madrid next week and guys if you like the video do subscribe to my channel I am uploading this uh, FIFA rebuilds on a daily basis sometimes two days after if you like the content guys do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching